Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Chick Quest Adventures. We are so glad to have you join us today to learn more about eggs and the life cycle of chick development and American soybeans. These adventures are sponsored by GrowNextGen.org, the Ohio Soybean Council, um, in partnership with EducationProjects.org. Please remember that chickens eat lots of soybeans and you're gonna learn more about that today. Okay, in today's second Chick Quest adventure, we are gonna learn about eggs. Specifically, we're gonna learn about how each part of the egg helps developing chicks. Did you guys bring some eggs to the table so that you can help crack some eggs open today? All right, let's see. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you how you can crack an egg carefully to keep the contents inside intact so that you can go ahead and describe what you see. Let me switch my camera. All right, let's look at these developing eggs. Look at all these different colors. Some of these eggs are what we refer to as table eggs. And some of these eggs are fertilized eggs, or at least we hope. So far, I'm gonna open up an egg that I got from the grocery store. This is called a table egg. I'm gonna carefully crack it on the side. What's really unique about eggs is that these are strong enough to support the development of a chick, but they're fragile enough that they can crack open when the developed chick is ready to emerge. So carefully, carefully, after you've washed your hands and have clean eggs, tap, your egg on the side of the plate. I have cracked the egg open really carefully. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is carefully open it up and allow it to lay on the plate. What do you see? As you look at this egg, what do you see? Let me move it a little closer to the camera. First of all, do you notice how the egg stays together? It looks like this egg right here has two separate parts. Does everybody see that? Take a look at your own egg carefully. What do you think those parts do to help a developing chick? Some other things that you see on this egg, other than the golden center and the lighter outside, are these white membranes in here. And it's hard to see on my camera, so look on your own egg. But, but there are white membranes here that support the yolk and suspend it within the egg. Take a look at those. Can you find those on your egg? Where do you think that the chick develops in this egg? If you were a developing chick, what do you think is the safest place to develop? I'm gonna show you a diagram of what you see on this plate, just so that you can see some of the parts a little bit more clearly. And then we're gonna go back and investigate our egg. This is a diagram of the inside of an egg. Do you see some of the same spots and parts that you saw on your plate? As you look at this egg, I want you to see that same round yellow center, the same material on your plate. It looks clear in this diagram. It's a light gray that you see on your plate. Here are those white membranes that surround that yellow center and give it support. What do you think this part is down here? And there's one more thing that we're pointing at right here. This is called a germ spot. This is where the egg that can develop into a chick is. As you look at this egg, let's talk about what each part does. This hard outer shell of the egg 
helps to provide support for the developing chick. It also helps to keep the chick safe from outside environments. It helps to protect it from germs. It also helps to provide support when a mother hen sets and nests on her eggs for development. This gray material on the inside is called the albumin. The albumin is food for the growing chick. As the chick develops and grows inside of this egg, it will consume this food. It will also release some waste into this developing albumin. And when the chick is ready to hatch out, the albumin will be completely gone. These white membranes that go around the yellow part of the egg are called chalazy. Chalazy are membranes that act like bungee cords that support the egg inside. They help to keep the developing embryo, which is on the yellow part, safe and away from the shell. So the chalazy are really important because they help to keep the developing chick forming properly as it goes through its 21 day life cycle inside of the egg. This black area down here is the air cell. This is the area where the oxygen comes in and the waste gas goes out and allows that chick to have access to air so that it can develop normally, just like you and I. Each of these areas, the area around the yolk and the area inside of the eggshell are surrounded by membranes. Those membranes keep the contents safe and secure inside of the egg. They also allow moisture to go in and out and air to go in and out. Finally, this big yellow area inside of the egg is called the yolk. The yolk is really a food source for the developing chick, but it does not consume the yolk until it is ready to hatch. So right before a developing chick hatches, it is able to pull the yolk inside of its belly button and it makes the chick look big and round when it comes out and it can survive on the contents of that yolk for the next 72 hours. This is one of the ways that chicks are able to be shipped from a hatchery to your house within three days and make it without food or water. It's because they are living on this developing yolk. Now let's take a look back at our cracked egg. What do you think? Is this egg fertilized or not? It's really hard to determine. When you get an egg from the store, when you get an egg from the store like this one, what we call a table egg, it is not developing. So it is not fertilized. And what that means is there is no chick in here, no way, no how. So I can crack this egg at any time and it's gonna look the same no matter what inside because this egg has never been exposed to fertilization, so a hen has never come in contact with the rooster. However, this egg, this egg may be fertilized. And the reason is because the hen that laid this egg lives in the same coop with a rooster. And so it might be fertilized. So let's crack this egg open and see if there's any difference between this egg and the table egg. I'm carefully going to tap this brown egg on my side of my plate, just like we did before. As I open it up, I want to be really careful not to break the membranes that surround the yolk. This egg does look a little different. It might be hard for you to see with the camera a little further away, but this egg has a few spots in it. Let me get a little closer so you can look. As I bring this up to the camera, I know they're moving. 
please forgive me. I want you to get a better look at these eggs. See that this egg has a few spots. This egg does not. When the hen laid this egg, some things could happen. She might have sat a little funny, maybe a blood vessel burst like a capillary, but those couple of spots are just a fleck or two of blood. On this egg right here, you see the germ spot right there. It's hard to see, I know, so look carefully at your egg at home. But on this germ spot, there is a little white dot on the yolk. On this egg, I don't even see the germ spot, which means I did not do the best job of cracking. Probably the germ spot is below the yolk on the plate. If this egg were to be fertilized, around that little white spot would be, imagine this, a white halo of membranes that would be the developing chick. So what I would see would be a little white spot and then surrounding it like a big white donut would be some developing cells. Those developing cells in 21 days will actually become a chick. Now, you've learned a lot about eggs today. Remember what's inside of this egg and this egg and even this brown egg that you see right here is the potential for a chick to develop within 21 days. What did we learn about these things that can help us to understand why some eggs are table eggs and some eggs are fertilized eggs? Primarily what you see with these is that these table eggs have never ever been in the presence of a rooster. And when a rooster and a hen are together, they have the opportunity to develop a fertilized egg, which really means a, ba a chick developing inside of the egg. Now what's interesting too, is that a hen does not have to sit on this egg right away. What that means is a hen could lay 10 eggs in 10 days and she could gather them together in a nest and after 10 days, she could set on those eggs and they could begin to develop at the same time. So 21 days later, those 10 eggs could become chicks. Okay, let's review what we learned today. We learned that there are differences in eggs that you purchase. Some eggs are table eggs and some eggs may be fertilized eggs. Table eggs are laid by hens in a laying house that are not near roosters. So they're never fertilized. Fertilized eggs have the opportunity to be fertilized because the rooster is in a hen house with the hens. Sometimes we wanna produce eggs that are just for eating and those are table eggs. And sometimes we wanna produce eggs that create chicks. So those are fertilized eggs. I hope you learned a lot today. I'm sure you have a lot of questions be sure to send some of your questions in so that we can answer them next time. Remember, you're a scientist, and I want you to think about different ways that scientists study eggs and why egg production is important. What do we feed the chickens that lay the eggs? Soybeans. So I wanna take some time to thank the Ohio Soybean Council and Grow Next Gen for bringing this information to you. Tomorrow, we're gonna to go ahead and we're gonna measure eggs like scientists. So if you have a ruler, please bring it. And if you have a scale that you could weigh your eggs, we can do that too. We'll also measure their volume. So tomorrow, what we're gonna learn is that all eggs are different and they have differences just like you and I. Okay, thanks for signing on today. Make sure to go to rownextgen.org to see the recording. Goodbye.